Good morning from Texas. Um, today I'm continuing on with the hardwood floor search. Um, I stopped by one place earlier and uh, I was gonna start filming and then it turned out the business was closed. So I'm gonna do a quick errand uh, for Chris at the uh, hardware store. And then I'm gonna stop by a wood flooring place to see what they have. Good news and bad news. Uh, the other lumber store I was gonna go to, like a lumber liquidator place or something, uh, couldn't find, but I came across Reclaimed Design Works and it opens in a half an hour. So I'm gonna come back here in a half an hour, mosey through, see what's going on, hopefully make a decision by this afternoon. Back at the uh, Reclaimed Wood Place, it's still closed. I just saw a car pulling behind me. Hopefully it's the owner. Give them a few minutes to uh, open up shop and it is open. Let's see what kind of goodies are in store for us. I gotta say, I probably learned more with that woman in there than I ever did in wood shop. So that was amazing. I don't know if I'm gonna go with uh, this place. Uh, it is about the same price as the tree house. It is far, far, far more uh, reclaimed than uh, the products at tree house. Um, Two week delivery, so I don't know if that's gonna work. Back at the pad, uh, went over a few different wood options um, and talked about that, talked about some possible ceiling combinations and what kind of wood we're gonna use for the bench slash uh, couch uh, pullout uh, bed um, and the kitchen and the bed. So I'm really into that wood that I saw earlier and I don't think I got a video for, of that for you guys so sorry and I'll probably be going back there tomorrow but think of it like this maybe you'll just have a little incentive or a little anticipation for uh, what kind of design I'm thinking uh, let me just say it is very um, reclaimed that's a good word to use and lots of texture and I'm super excited about it so uh, oh, also, Valentina's coming over. Giving uh, Valentina a little tour of what Chris has done here on the property. She is uh, following Chris on Instagram, uh, Hotel Priest, if you guys haven't seen it yet. Me and Valentina have decided to go over to Barton Springs, jump in the spring water, and probably get a bite to eat afterwards. Neat. Sounds like Sounds like last time. <laughs> In case anyone was wondering, it's about 100 degrees. I really it's 110. She thinks it's 110, it's humid. I have a black shirt on. And finally, finally, we get to jump in some nice cold water. Another successful day at Barton Springs. And uh, because we are creatures of habit, we're gonna go eat something really delicious. What are you drinking? Hillary. What? Hillary Clinton has hot sauce in her purse. Valentina has colloidal silver. We're back at the uh, house and I'm gonna do a quick uh, car change and let's go eat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Chris has got the uh, movie all set up back here. Oh! That's awesome, man. I forgot about that. Do we really have to do that? This is so cool. This life is so romantic. You like that? Yeah, these are super cool. Good job. Good job. I like it. Uh, Chris just asked us to sit in. Uh, and these pictures are going on Airbnb, so me and Valentina are gonna Hi. pretend like we're guests here. I'm Dutch. Well, I mean, technically I am. Right, we're at the uh, dinner spot. It is
it's called Corriente. Oh yeah, it smells great. We've got egg on top, sweet potato noodles, chicken, pickled vegetables, edamame, and a mahi-mahi bowl. That dinner was amazing. Uh, check out Corriente off uh, 6th Street, downtown Austin. It's fantastic. The noodles, the chicken, everything was super yummy, super fresh, super healthy. And I'm coming back. So we're going to a place called Easy Tiger, which I was saying before my battery died, is probably my favorite name of a place ever. Look at how amazing this is. We just walked down some steps and there's some water. It's a bake shop and beer garden, says Valentina. Beautiful selection of beer, wine, and uh, ping pong tables, live music some of the days, and super nice Austin local people. Uh, sounds good to me. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning.